Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off round one for group B. It's my group. In this session we have got four matches for you to tuck into. We'll be starting off with our tournament host, Stranger Gamer, taking a crack at Khalid. Then we have the debutant, Echo Fury, taking on a debutant from last year, Incarnatorus Man. Then we'll have two debutants going at each other with in Mulberry and Varga. And that all coupled, coupled down to our main event of this evening. The champ, Maastricia, taking a crack at the rookie store. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for the host, Stranger Gamer, we have got a Synteosaurus. And I absolutely love this field, because that means my Mega Raptor will have type of terrain advantage. <laughs> Well, looking at my matchups in this group, I feel like this is one I need to win. I need to win this match. This is the only matchup where I actually don't have type disadvantage. But I don't expect it to be easy, because in the blue corner for Khalid, we have got Shantungasaurus, and Khalid has a team of hard hitters. Especially with those big crits. Do loads of damage to my face. This is going to be an interesting match. But we are on the beach field, aren't we? Yes. Ooh, we start with a tie. It's always more tense when it's my matchup. When it's my matches. I mean, I feel happy as long as the shant doesn't hit, get a crit. Okay, he does get the first hit on the board, so Khalid does win that exchange. But then he's there. Achoo. Technique boost coming in handy there. Defense boost as well, so we're kind of defensive teams, these two really. But it is Khalid that gets the first hit, and that's a tie. Ooh, that's another tie. Our host just can't get a hit so far. But remember, both of these guys have big crits. That's an <laughs> How many times are you going to get her? Give us. Oh, that's a metal wing. And that's just what the host needed. A crit off the bat. And there's a metal wing. Now, I think with the defensive resilience that the Shant has, I don't think this is going to be lethal. I'd be surprised if it is. But elemental power activating there. I mean, which is utterly useless against this dinosaur because it doesn't have super moves. <laughs> Ooh, but Khalid does respond and does take a slight lead. Well, actually, it won't be a lead because the Mega Raptor comes in next with the terrain advantage. So Mega Raptor will get the next hit, no matter what. Speak of the devil, and here he is. And that hit will be a scissors hit. Now I will say, that is good for Khalid though, because it eats up my terrain advantage. Because if I was to hit his second dinosaur, which is Taurosaurus, I would have got a crit, and I would have got the crit block. And you saw in my video how effective that combo could be against Goma, so... This is pretty good for Khalid. I I think they'll be they'll be overjoyed to see my terrain advantage gone. Push, push, push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the Shant's still alive. Oh no, he, oh no, he doesn't have Taurosaurus in third. Dummy, he's got freaking Tajongosaurus. My mistake. <laughs> I was thinking of his team last year. We had Taurosaurus. Okay, well, yeah, same thing applies. I still would have got that hit. Removed his crit, which is pretty much where all his power is in. And, you know, got probably got the next hit as well. Right. But we are back the normal service. Because I no longer have terrain advantage. Ooh, that's a big gamble from the host there. Going for that rock. Especially with our crit. But the gamble paid off. Ooh, it's a tight, and there goes the tight bomb. See, I feel comfortable as long as I don't go for rock. 
because if I don't go for Rock, Khalid cannot get a crit. And that's a big hit from this Mega Raptor there. The tie Bomb's going to come in. The Crit Block's going to come in. Will we get Cyclone as well? And we get the Cyclone. Yeah! <laughs> and you know what that means. The host will get the next hit no matter what. Right, I'll be going for Rock. And Khalid, you can't go Paper. You can't go Paper. You got to go Scissors. Another tie Bomb as well. Stranger's tie strategy paying off dividends here. And has earned him a decent lead. But let's not forget, one crit from Tajongosaurus can change everything. But he's not getting a crit today. And down goes Tajongosaurus. And now our hosts are in a strong position. As a Margosaurus comes in. Another powerhouse of a crit this dinosaur has. Like, it is really impressive how hard Khalid's team can hit. And, but so far, our hosts are doing a very good job of nullifying the power of those crits. You have to say that. And with a Rhinoceratops waiting in the wings as well, Stranger is in a good position to win. But we've seen it many times before in the past. Everything can change very quickly. Oh, that's the worst thing for Khalid. A crit block and a tie bomb. The combo's starting again. And if Megaraptor gets a cyclone off here, it could be curtains. Okay, no cyclone, which is to the relief of Khalid. But that does mean that Megaraptor will be going for the crit. Oof. Doesn't get it, though. But the tie bomb will go off. I suit our host down to the ground. Oh, that's going to be it, I think. Is that it for Khalid? Has the host delivered a knockout? Not yet, but that pretty much... Oh, that pretty much guarantees the win, pretty much. Unless Khalid gets, like, five hits in a row. But it all adds up to one thing. Khalid is in big trouble. And that'll do it. This is the coup de grace from the Mega Raptor and an impressive display from the host Stranger Gamer in their first match to get the bonus point win. And as for Khalid, well, wow, I've, I've really done a job on them. The Mega Raptor combo really done significant damage to Khalid there. And they'll be licking their wounds. Right then, on to our next matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner, making their official tournament debut for Echo Fury, we have got Alpha Allosaurus. You know, in all honesty, I feel like this could have been a, the main event of this session. Because both guys got Super Displetosaurus, and both guys have got a Dino Tector in third. Right, representing Carnotaurus Man in the blue corner, we got Super Displetosaurus. Carnotaurus Man did get out the group stage last year despite a slow start, but I'm sure they'll want to get off to a winning start this year. Okay, this is the meadow field which favours grass types, but neither of us, neither of them have grass types, so there'd be no terrain advantages in this contest. Um, I believe the Awaker mode is on free for both of them. And let's get started. And that is a dream start for Carny Man. That's a firebomb, and that's going to be a massive hit from Carnotaurus Man right away on the rookie. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Almost killed it instantly. Right, that's once. And this is a... Good start from Carnotaurus, man. Softening Beam's going to finish off the Alpha Allo. And Echo Fury playing catch-up already. Right, coming in for Echo Fury's second Dino, we got Super Despletosaurus. Also the Awaker Mode on three, I believe. Um, I'll have to double-check quickly. I'll... Yeah, no, I think it's free. I'm sure it's free. If it's not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is free. 
Ooh, Carnotaurus man, gonna get a taste of his own medicine, you. A Venom Fang, a crit from the Spletosaurus, and Echo Fury really needed that hit. Can't, it's been Carnotaurus man so far. For a Venom Fang with the poison, could help him. And that will definitely help. Ooh, but it's not lethal, so you know what that means. Elemental Fusion! And if Car Carnotaurus Man can get a hit here, that will be huge for them. Oh, it's a crit! Oh, no! And this crit is going to be lethal. This Despletosaurus is no way it's surviving this. Oh, look at that! Two Firebombs and Echo Fury is in big, big trouble now. It's all up to Spinotector. Well, you know, not the worst dinosaur if you're in a pinch. I wouldn't count Echo Fury out yet. The Dinotector can turn this match on its head. But that, those two Firebombs have been brutal from Carnotaurus now. Ooh, that's a tie for... Oh my god, he's going to get another one off. <laughs> Wouldn't have done mu as much damage, though. But, safe to say, Despletosaurus definitely did its job. Right then, coming in for Carnotaurus Man's second dino, we've got Pachyrhinosaurus, heroic type. Big problem for Echo Fury here is that this Pachyrhinosaurus, A, is heroic type, and B, it's got type advantage. If he gets off a lightning spear... That's going to do more damage than the Firebomb. Because Spinotector's crit is scissors as well, so the crit is going to do an arseload of damage. In fact, I think even at this stage, that crit will one-shot. Ooh, I thought we were about to find out then. <laughs> but Spinotector survives the scare, gets the hit. That's another tie. The bar is filling up and ultimate water will be most welcome for Echo Fury. Oh, hello. We got Ocean Panic. That will definitely be a welcome addition. Echo Fury dealing with a type disadvantage quite well here. Slowly but surely clawing their way back into this contest. Getting the Dino Tector and getting the move removal as well. So... Give me a sec while I enter the car. Dino TikTok on! Could this be what Echo Fury needs to get back in this contest? Right, because of move removal, the Spinal Tector will go for paper. Okay, can't go scissors. And gets the ultimate water. And all of a sudden, things looking interesting. I have to say, I did fear for Echo Fury here. I thought if the Packy Rhinosaurus gets off a lightning spear, that was it. That was game over. But Echo Fury survived the scare and has dragged themselves right back in this contest. Right, for Carnotaurus Man's third dino, as you can see, it's Ace. And it's Ace Dino Tector. So, yes, it is Dino Tector v Dino Tector. Um, well, no Dino Illusion. And I would have to say, Echo Fury does have this match's momentum at the minute. And even though the Ultimate Water is gone, the Spinal Tector will hit slightly harder with its moves now. Ty. And the bar will fill up quicker than the Ace as well. It's another hit. And well, from on the brink of defeat, we are level pecking. What a comeback this has been from Echo Fury. Another hit. And gets the ultimate water going again. And gets it! And Carnotaurus Man is stunned! Echo Fury's gonna get the first win of the tournament. 
And what a win it was. What a comeback. Spinal Tactor really carried it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much bang on halfway. So Carnotaurus Man will get a losing bonus point. But oh boy, oh boy, it should have been more. But what a win for Echo Fury on their debut. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Our first comeback of the tournament. Right, on to our third matchup now. Ooh, the fire field. Right, in the red corner, for Mulberry, we have got a Parpasaurus. Se the secret version, or secret moves, not much to say here. <laughs> Okie dokie, in the blue corner, for Varga, we have got a Torvosaurus. And this Torvosaurus will have terrain advantage to start, because we are on the volcano field. Could that be key in this matchup? Okay, so Torvi will be hitting with paper. Gorma. <laughs> right, so uh, let's get the terrain advantage done first. Boosh! Technique boost activate in there. I don't know why, I feel like Varga is gonna. I fancy Varga in this matchup, and that terrain advantage will definitely help. Good start. Ooh, that's a tie. But Torvosaurus is tie type. But Papasaurus is willpower type. Willpower types do increase their damage after ties. But so far, it's Torvosaurus getting all the hits. The tech boots maxing up here, but no Vault Burst. Oh, look at that. All the secret moves being triggered there. Will we see some love from Papasaurus? We are! I, I can't, I can't, I think this is Papa Love Love. Ah, kisses! Mwah! <laughs> Tormosaurus feeling the kisses there. Oh, look at the damage! Big hit from Papasaurus. Oh, that's a tie. No heat eruption. I think Tormosaurus does have heat eruption. And Papasaurus gets the next hit. Well, it was a good start from Varga, but Mulberry striking back hard. Papa Roll Roll, I think it's called. <laughs> but Torvosaurus biting in the dust. Right, up next for Varga, we've got a Joboria. Joboria, heroic type, coming in here. We'll probably need to get the next hit here to stop Mulberry from pulling away in this match. Because that Papasaurus is packing a lot of punch at the minute. And I do believe the attack buff you get from Willpower type is stackable. Ooh, that's a tie. That'll do it. Papasaurus going down. But definitely did its work. Now, for Mulberry's second dino, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. It'll have type advantage over the Joboria, but because the Joboria is heroic type, if it gets a crit, it is going to do a lot of damage because Chasmosaurus' crit is paper. So this could be an interesting tussle here. And I feel like whoever can get the... Uh, Ex win the exchanges here will probably go on to win this match. And so far, it is Mulberry getting the first hit. Ooh, that was a chance for a crit there from Doboria, but it wasn't taken. And instead, it's a banana surprise. Surprise! Badoosh. And the move removal effect has taken place. And you know what that means? Chasmosaurus will be going for scissors. Ooh, Joboria does survive with a tie. But Varga needs to get a hit on the board here. Uh, oh, hang on. Nope. Dino stuff is going to come in. That's the first time we're seeing it this tournament. And it won't be the last. Oh, how massive could our dino stuffer be there? 
Another tie, but I think that's going to be it for Joe Boria. And Wagner is in a bit of a pickle here. Now, the saving grace is that this Armatus will have type advantage. And it does have spectral armor, so... Varga's not out of this yet. A spectral armor can change the entire outcome of this match. But Varga does need to strike back quick. Because his Chasmosaurus is looking pretty strong. That's a tie, but tie. Varga needs a hit. Can't just rely on ties. And that could be a big hit there to get back in this contest. It's a Quake Saber. Wow. Big damage going to be dealt to Chasmosaurus here, surely. Oh, yeah, look at that. An attack boost as well. Much needed hit there. Oh, we're back to ties, but that means the Quake Saber will get triggered again. Cast two. Another tie, and the Chasmosaurus goes down. And Varga coming back into this contest. Right. For Mulberry's third dino, we have got Carnotaurus. Um, it's heroic type, but, you know, it's rock move is his weakest move, so not much to worry about there for Varga, but he does need to worry about that hurricane beat. Because that is a big, that'll be a big crit if Mulberry gets that off. In fact, it'll probably kill Arbitus. And he does have the Dino Illusion to protect him. But that's a nice crit there from Armatus. Max up the attack buff. And more importantly, it's Spectral Armor time. Jack Armor! Well, this makes things interesting, and there's no Dino Illusion either, so the Carnotaurus will not have that protection. Well, it could all come down to this. I've got to risk it. Ooh, that's a tie, that's a tie. Whew. Oh, he gets the hit! It's Spectral Stinger, and that is going to sting for Mulberry. And Varga is going to come from behind to take the victory. And to add insult to injury for Mulberry, no losing bonus point either since Armatus' HP is too high. Oh, and he poisoned it as well. But an impressive win there from Varga. And yet again, Armored Dinosaurs making the impact. Now then, on to our main event this evening. It is time for the champ, Maastrician, to enter the arena. Right, let's get this main event under underway. Ooh, well, in the red corner, for the champ, Maastrician, we have got Eocarcaria, Omega Armor. Now, this could be interesting because Maastrician does have an Earth Dinosaur. And this is the Arid Field, so Maastrician is going to have terrain advantage here. Could that, could that come into play? In the blue corner for our debutant Storm, we have Super Ragasaurus. Now, Storm did debut in my Champions Tournament, so, you know, they have taken part before. But in terms of official tournaments, this is their first outing. And, well, <laughs> couldn't have asked for a tougher matchup, but first, couldn't have, against the champ? But, hey, we'll see what happens, because... We've seen some strange things in this tournament, and we're probably going to see stranger things in this tournament. Oh, good start from the champ, getting a crit right off the bat. Both of these guys have armored dinosaurs. Storm has Maximus, and obviously Maastrician has Eocarcaria. Ooh, good response by Storm. Getting the Magma Blaster and the Awaken Mobile the way for this and Super Carno is at 3. Gee, that was a decent amount of damage. That's twice. Ooh, but Maastrician responds with a crit. A Tappy Jara dive and a Light Recovery to come. And it might need it because it's going to be a Wake Wake time. A 
Elemental Fusion! This could be interesting. Oh, there's a tie! Oh, but the Rajasaurus survived! But he's not going to survive that! And the champ does take some damage, but does get the lead and stops the Awaken mode. Right, coming in next for Storm 2nd, I know we've got Carnotaurus. Super Carnotaurus, that is. Again, the Awaken mode on 3. Another heavy hitted Dinosaurus. Storm's team can definitely hit hard. Well, if the Omega armor can get activated here, yeah, then that would be bad news for Storm. But, you know, I think Maastrichia needs two hits or two ties. And I don't think he's going to get it. That's one. Oh, but Maastrichia gets the crit. He's going to get the light recovery as well. That's twice. Maastrician looking strong so far. Oh, another hit. The champ is extending his lead. Well, he's gonna need he might need it, yeah? Storm just to get past his heel Carcaria. Oh, he does get it! Oh he does it, his tag team! Oh, the chap denies it with the tag team. The Papasaur is coming in clutch. I, I didn't even realise I got triggered. Oh, the Awaken mode is wasted. Papasaur is coming in there. What a move by the champ. Oof. Okay, that comes as a relief there at the Storm. This Mayfly will finish Eel Carcaria off. But Maastrichian still has a decent lead. Right, coming in next for our champ, we have the Blitz-type Spinosaurus. And because it's Blitz-type, the Spino will be going for two crits in a row. So things could get interesting here. If Maastrichian was to land two crits, then I do feel like it'll be over. Ooh, that's a tie. Survived that one. Ooh, and got the hit. And a final fury. I think that's final fury. Oh no, it's crit block. Even better for them. Ah, Storm coming back into this. And will go for the crit because of the uh, move removal rules. Ooh, but the champ gets the tie. Takes out the Carno. And now, drops Storm down to Maximus. Now, I wouldn't count Storm out of this contest. Because Maximus will have tight advantages. And he's got the Spectral Armor. And we've seen in previous matches already that the armor, it can turn a match on his head. So Maastrician has to be careful here. Of course, let's not forget, Maastrician does have Tarkia to come in, which will have terrain advantage, so it will get a hit. Ooh, that's a tie. If Maastrician can get this Maximus down to low enough health, the Tarkia can come in and win the match. Another tie. As I said, this is only suiting one person. But that will suit Storm. And Spinosaurus does not go down. Wow! How the hell did it survive that? Okay, well it won't survive this. Oh, Spectral Armor type. Is the champ in trouble? Are we about to witness an upset? Well, we've got to get terrain advantage out of the way first. Because Takia does get the next hit. Oh yeah, it oh yeah, it doesn't have any super moves, does it? Could that backfire for Maastrichian? 
Right, got it. First, enter the code and then let Takia get the next hit. Well, I think the Takia will survive a hit. As long as that hit is not a crit. And actually now, the Maximus is in lethal range, so if Master Shin can get a hit here, it's game over. Oh, he gets the hit! The Anyanguira dive has the champ rescued it! Yeah, definitely. Game over for Storm. That terrain advantage, how crucial could that have been? No, let's find out. So six. Wow. So Storm would have got the next hit if it wasn't for terrain advantage. Maastricht and the champ getting off to the winning start. But you know what? Kudos to Storm because they put up a really good fight. Right, time to look at the table and then we can end the session. Well, that is how Group B stands, ladies and gentlemen. We have the host, Stranger Gamer, topping it. The first combatant in this tournament to get a bonus point victory. Then we have Echo Fury, Varga and Maastrician, all level on free point. Carnotaurus Man picking up the losing bonus point there against Echo Fury. And then Khalid Storm and Mulberry licking their wounds pointless. And that will end this session. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. And you know the drill. Till next time, ta-ta.